Hello and welcome back to my channel Code with Ease by Varsha. So today we are not going to discuss about any lead code question. Rather, we will try to talk about coding patterns, the basic coding patterns required to ace data structures and algorithms. So this is an outcome of a community poll that we have recently done in which we uh, try to understand the challenges faced by people when they are trying to learn data structures and algorithms. There are quite a few. Most important ones are something like um, when people are trying to solve a lot of lead code questions, they tend to forget what they have solved day before yesterday or in the last week. And because of that, the easy bet is to try to memorize the coding questions, question answers. And this is not a good way because uh, later on when you are facing another new problem, uh, you are not able to connect the dots between what you have learned, how can you apply the concepts, not able to correlate with what you have studied. And as a result of that, it becomes a mess. Uh, the reason when we did our research, we tried to understand why is this, why this happens to most of the people we understood is because people do not have a 360 degree view of what they are learning. They're just doing certain questions mindlessly, just participating in the contest, just for the sake of programming, but they do not have a guided uh, infrastructure around which they should be understanding what they are doing, why they are doing. The why part is very important and this is where coding patterns, I think, comes to the rescue. So to talk more about it, let's jump right in. Now, firstly, what are coding patterns? Okay, so coding patterns are nothing but they are predefined, uh, you can say some kind of templates or techniques, which if you can identify early on when you are in your learning journey, it becomes very easier to connect the dots and of course, to, you know, to transition from a brute force solution to a more optimized way of solving a problem. Uh, you can also try to understand what are the clues, clues in a given question, uh, in a given question, something like if the array is sorted, and the question which can help you to identify what data structure you should use, what algorithm you should use. Most important part is since they are predefined, so you, there are only a few of them, like maybe, you know, 10 to 15 patterns, which you have to understand in depth. You have to take some time one day, two day a week to understand what every pattern's demand is and accordingly make your study plan according to it. Next, coming to the why part. So why we have already discussed, I think here only. Um, firstly, it helps to identify or, you know, to deduce patterns between related or similar questions. So if you already know of that, you know that, okay, two pointers I have studied and I have applied two pointers in a certain question. The moment you get another question, uh, you will understand that two pointers have to be applied because there was a certain blocker which you faced in the earlier question and that is the reason you applied two pointers. If you're facing a similar issue in the new question, you are again going to apply two pointer to solve that. So the intention behind this is to identify issues or the blockers that you are having in the current uh, solution, like in the brute force solution, and how that can be converted into a right or an effective solution. That is what is important, right? When you have nested for loops, when you have a time complexity of order of n square, you would want to convert that into an order of n. And you know that whenever you're facing an issue of time complexity of order of n square, you have to convert it to order of n to optimize it. And how you're doing it involves certain techniques and tips and trips to do that. These are bottlenecks or the issues which we were talking of. So when you know of the patterns, you know that given a issue like this, I have to apply this technique to optimize it. Given a issue or a clue like this in the question, I have to apply this technique to solve this question. Okay. Next, coming to how. How are we going to do that? So for the how part, we have to understand, first of all, all the different patterns that we are going to cover today. Uh, for example, we are going to, of course, cover two pointers. We'll discuss about fast and slow pointers, sliding window, subsets, and all of that. So we'll try to understand in depth what are the requirements of every pattern. Like what is the actual problem that pattern is trying to solve? And if you are facing a similar question or a pattern, or a similar coding problem in future, then this is the pattern you should be using. Okay. So with that being said, uh, now let's try to understand one by one the pattern. 